It's no secret that I love reality TV. I truly am a connoisseur of absolute garbage. I'm like a fucking, just, I'm just a raccoon, dude, just rummaging through the dumpster, diving into these garbage piles, looking for beautiful, sweet niblets of tasty trash. It's honestly a wonder that I have not died from the sheer volume of garbage that I have <laughs> consumed in my life. But I'm here to say enough is enough, dude, all right? We're at a point where all the shows are just replicas of, of the previous show. There's no original reality concepts left. Every fucking show is just an island-based <laughs> love show that's a kind of just a ripoff of Love Island. Like Love Island, it was a bunch of hot single people in bathing suits on a Villa Paradise vacation with other hot single people with the unrealistic goal of finding their soulmate, finding true love. Then you had Too Hot to Handle, which is just a bunch of hot single people in bathing suits on a Villa Paradise vacation with other hot single people with the unrealistic goal of finding love. But this time with the twist. What's the twist? They can't fuck, dude. What? F-Boy Island. Three hot single people in bathing suits on a vacation with a bunch of other hot single people. But this time the twist is that some of the guys aren't there for love. They're just there as F-Boys. X on the Beach, another fucking island-based villa love show. In the twist this time, dude, their ex is also there. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the newest iteration, straight from Netflix. This show is called Dated and Related. And when you see that title, obviously, you're going to instantly think, that sounds incestual, probably shouldn't be doing that, right? Dated and related? Like, how else are you supposed to interpret that title? Now, spoiler alert. Warning. 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 They don't actually have to date people that they're related to. Because, I mean, obviously that would be wild. On Dated and Related, you gotta come in here and be the best wingman for your sister, your brother, or your cousin. Sibling pairs, you're gonna have to work together <laughs> and be the ultimate wingman or wing woman for each other to help you to find love. That's what the show is about. And then out of nowhere, they're like, game changer. The show isn't about that at all. It's like five episodes in at this point. <laughs> it's just about being in a couple. The best couple that makes it to the end wins the cash prize. So it's like, you thought there was a difference to this show. Like you thought there was something new to it, a, a new concept. Psych. It's actually exactly the same as Love Island. <laughs> oh, you thought this was a novel, original concept? No, dude. Think again. So I watched all of it. <laughs> I watched every single episode of the whole season, so maybe it is better than I'm giving it credit for. Imagine being swept away to a luxury villa in the south of France. You're there to find love in the most romantic country in the world with other gorgeous singles. Oh, did I not mention the catch? You'll be joined by your brother or sister who's also looking for love. What? I can't handle this twist. I feel like that's how they expect you to react to this. Oh, what? But they're related. How do you feel about me and him maybe sharing a bed? It's gonna be weird. That's the whole vibe of the show. That one little snippet is just the show for hours. The bit gets kind of old pretty fast where they're like, what, I have to date and my sister's on the show? This is gonna be awkward. I can't believe I'm hitting on this guy with my brother around. That's awkward. Why would anyone do this? Because finding love isn't easy. That's literally not why, right? Could it be possibly because you've offered a low level of fame. You can now become social media famous. And also not to mention that there's a cash prize at the end of the show. I just have a hard time believing that people are like, I need to find love. What better place than a fucking, <laughs> a villa show on Netflix? Could your sibling be the answer to finding everlasting love? I gotta make sure I really find the right dick for my sister. My sister deserves the best dick. Or, is this about to be the most awkward dating show in history? <laughs> awkward. Let's set free the siblings. Hey, hey, hey. We're popping out. Hi, hi. 
The music, just all the time, is just an hour of redundant, shitty pop music. Yeah, I just sit here and I'm like, what am I doing to myself? Why am I watching this? And then I watch like 14 more hours of it. I can't believe we're doing this, but maybe this crazy experiment will work. If I'm third wheeling a date with her, that'd be funny. I'm literally gonna be there with my shirt off, looking as Hulk as possible. Watch out. <laughs> if I go on a date with my sister, I will be shirtless. You can quote me on that. I will be half naked as a form of intimidation to the other men. So sharp, I'm a well dressed man. Yeah. Living my life doing what I can. Yeah. We're classed as identical twins, but we don't share the same features. I'm taller, I'm bigger. Oh, yeah, he's got a bigger head. That kind of sucks. You're identical twins, but you're the lesser good looking shorter one. If you like me, you're gonna love my better looking twin because he's me, but better. <laughs> Kieran does pick the wrong type of girls. I can point out the red flags. I know I could pick a girl for Kieran. I'm not scared to get into a relationship, but it will take a lot. Spoiler alert. Warning. 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 That guy gets into a relationship quicker than anybody on the fucking show. Up, we had a reputation as the crazy sisters. Yeehaw! I'm an attention seeker. She thrives off of attention. First guys that I see, I'm gonna pounce on. <laughs> Why would you paint yourself like this? People know us as insane. The first guy I see, I'm jumping on. I'm an attention seeker. <laughs> Why would you? I'm sure you're lovely people. Why are you going out of your way to sound like the worst person to be around? I am very sexually adventurous. A little too wild sometimes. Huh. Awkward. I think it's gonna be so awkward to see our sibling flirting with someone. Oh my god, that'd be so weird. And awkward. They call me Jack Efron, they call him. They call me Chad Pitt. <laughs> oh my god. We love to have fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely a lover boy. I'm a lover boy as well. For all you wondering where uh, Boy Meets World and Dawson's Creek has been, they're here, dude, and they're related, and they're about to fucking bone together. Not each other, because that would be awkward, but just next to each other. <laughs> they're gonna guide each other's dicks into the holes. Definitely here to hook up, but at the same time, you know, hooking up is getting old, and uh, it's definitely time to start settling down. Spoiler alert. Warning. 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 They don't. They fucking strike out repeatedly. Our motto is the less fucks you give, the, the more, more fucks, fucks you, you get. get. Sorry, mom. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we fuck, dude. We fuck so often. Not each other, but definitely side by side. Back to back, dude. Our butts touch. We bounce butts off each other while we thrust. <laughs> you can't tame a lion. Can't tame a lion, dude. What can I tell you? Bites the throat out of his cousin, rips it out. <laughs> Sorry, dude, you can't tame a lion. Fucking puts his leg over his head, licks his asshole. What, dude? It's what lions do. Just I'm just on my lion shit. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> You guys are from America, I assume? Yeah. yeah, we're from Texas. All my exes live in Texas, so. Yeah, maybe you'll get a new one. <laughs> Good line, dude. Good line. Oh, you live in Texas? That's crazy, dude. I have a lot of failed relationships with people from there. <laughs> I like one person, but it's two of us. Yeah. Like... And I know what she's trying to say. Think about the number between one and ten. Seven. Then. No, I was thinking 10. Why 10? I don't know. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just back your sister up and be like, oh yeah, no, totally, I was thinking of 10. <laughs> really just left her hanging like that. What are your guys' type? I like someone that can make me laugh. Yeah, so I hope there's like funny guys in here. Doubt it, otherwise you'd probably be in a relationship. There's a lot of funny guys out there. It's just you failed to mention the fact that it's probably gotta be, it's probably gotta be tall, have a six pack. I'm just into goofy guys. Nina and Diana are just, uh, that's a different breed right there. We really don't see that back in Jersey, so. That's why we came to Europe. Sorry, Texas, but we're going for the twins. Hey, maybe don't use the word breed, though. Uh, that's a different breed right there. Kind of creepy. It's a strange word. They're not fucking racing horses, right? They're not like competition dogs, dude. We're not talking schnauzers. We're talking 
human beings. We love sure. a guy who can make us laugh. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously, but a little bit seriously. Yeah. Glad you cleared that up. Glad there's no mixed signals. Don't take yourself too seriously, but also take yourself a little bit seriously. Got it. We're sharing beds with our brothers and sisters. Like, that's so crazy, bro. That's so crazy. And honestly, <laughs> Chris and Jason. They're fun guys. No, they're, they're handsome. They're really good looking. You know when you laugh in an ugly way? Yeah. That's the way like, they make us laugh. Like, they take the, like, <laughs> the, the, the most important box for us, which is like humor. Yeah. Yeah. We get it. You're not shallow. You love a funny guy. We all believe you. What are we gonna do about this, Joey? Okay. What are we gonna do about this? We see Kaz and Kieran, you know, going in for the kill pretty quickly. Either or... spit game. I want them to spit game because it makes things more like. Well, because now when we spit game, they're gonna realize how much better we spit. Yeah, true that. I'm glad that they're uh, hitting on the girls we like. That's a good thing. It's a good thing that they're doing that, honestly. They be, they be spitting game, and when they spit game, then when we spit game, they're gonna be like, damn, they spit so much spit. Dude, they're gonna be covered in my fucking spit. They're gonna be drenched, dude. They're gonna be soaking wet with, with all the spit that I spit. You're never I'm thinking this like a chess game right now. I'm like, like I got like 10,000 moves in my head already. I'm like, We're gonna come in like a samurai sword, and we're gonna be so swift and just slice right through that and take our wound back. <laughs> Just like chess, dude. Classic samurai sword chess move. <laughs> Anyways, they answer a bunch of questions about their sibling, how many partners they slept with, what they're into. It gets weird. One guy is asked what his sister's best assets are, and he answers her ass. And then at home, you're like, whoa, dude, that's awkward and weird. And honestly, it is. It's a weird, it's a weird answer, you know, talking about your sister's ass like that. I'm gonna say, Karina's best asset is the way her ass sit. <laughs> Anyways, Joey and Karina win this challenge, and winning means that they get to choose one of the other groups to go on a date with. And when they choose Kaz and his twin brother as the couple to go on a date with, you can see Diana gets like visibly upset. She's already jealous. It's been one full day, and she's invested enough and clinged on enough to Kaz that she's already jealous, and she's making it pretty apparent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Diana. What can I do? Diana's nails just sharpened. She's so mad. She looks like she's about to rip Karina's head off. She's pissed! <laughs> You'd think Diana would understand that they came on this show to, like, date around, right? Like, it's weird that she takes it so offensively, but she's just, like, such a baby about it. She's angry. She's, like, mad about it. <laughs> yeah, and alas, we arrive at the most awkward moment in probably the full first episode. Possibly the whole season, to be honest with you. While Kaz and his brother are out with Joey and his sister, the Family Channel duo roll up on the twin girls. They're like, this is our opportunity. What's going on? Yeah. It's been so good to meet you guys. You look to me like a pirate. Oh, I search you. <laughs> you do look to me like a pirate. What's a pirate's favorite letter? R. R. You would think it's the R, but it's the C. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Funny as fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Primary box. Tick. Dude, check it off. Guy's hilarious. Now let's see if this other guy can wingman this, dude. It's going well. Just just ease it in, dude. Ease it in. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> You're actually yeah. crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm talking to Diana. I'm talking to Nina. Yep. Pretty simple. I'm pretty sure I'm talking to Diana. <laughs> hey man, real quick, figure that part out first. Figure out who you're talking to. I think for me, the most important thing is to like choose the right guy that yeah, I can yeah, trust. Yeah. I can trust. Now we can yeah. trust. How does the guy get this trust? Uh, yeah. He just showed me with like actions that he likes me. Okay. It's just me and no one else, you know? Yeah, I feel that. Come on. No, we're not going to kiss. Oh my we're not going to kiss. No, we're not going to kiss. I need to get to know you before I no, decide who I'm going to kiss in this house. <laughs> Oh, no, dude. Oh, every time I watch that, it makes me want to just hide my face. I just want to fucking rip my eyeballs out, dude. I want to go into hiding. Never come back again.
she literally just goes on about how a big important thing to her is trust and getting to know somebody. And he's like, that's sick. Do you want to make out though? <laughs> like grabs her hand. She pulls it away. First of all, dude, read that better. At that point, step it down a notch. Take it back down. But he's like, let's kiss. And she's like, we're not kissing. And he's like, <laughs> we're not. And she's like, no, we're not fucking kissing, dude. We're not. <laughs> not that hard to understand. We're not kissing. I hate it. And I love it. What's wrong with me? I couldn't kiss Jason because I feel like, yeah, I just really just need to see if Cass is genuine. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Have fun. Oh, God. I like, I like where it's going. No, I love where it's going. It's a good thing, if you think about it, that I got denied. I like the way they're playing the game. <laughs> That's I like where it's going. No, I love where it's going. <laughs> I kind of like that they're playing a little slow. You know? They're definitely like girlfriend type material. I'm not saying there yes. are girlfriends, but yeah, girlfriend material. Going for a kiss, get denied. Haha, ha, you're such girlfriend material. <laughs> this guy is fucking panicking, dude. He's so nervous, he doesn't know what to say. They're the kind of girls, like, they're worth the wait. The tension's still there, and that's something that I love the, the rush, you know? It's like, it's exciting. It's such a rush, dude, getting turned down in front of millions of people, recorded so I can live it every day. Fuck yes, dude. So sick. So sick. I'm fucking amped up right now. So then it goes back to Kaz and Karina on their date, and it's going fine. It's whatever. It's nothing, like, super special. It's not terribly awkward. It's not a bad date by any means, but it's just very middle of the road. Then they get back, and this is how Diana reacts to Kaz showing back up at the villa. <laughs> Kaz is just laughing and stuff. It's not fun right now. I'm not... I'm just not in the mood. Ooh, my bad. She doesn't seem too happy after all. He came back laughing. How fucking dare he, dude? How dare he? First box is he has to be funny, but honestly, him laughing right now, no good. How's it going? Oh, it was a good day. No, we had a good time. It, like look on her face does she think only her twin sister can see her and she's like i'm making all these fucking faces like everybody can see you i just hate this shit oh i can't deal honestly it's such like a you guys just met chill out a little bit take it on the chin be cool she's like um why would he be happy he should be miserable seeing diana emotionally invested has made me more aware my head is gone that's fine she literally gets up and goes away to sulk she goes to like go sit on her own just guilt tripping hardcore guilt tripping hoping that kaz follows her already crying what a baby so she set the trap, right? She disappeared. She's alone, sulking, hoping that somebody comes and like finds her. The trap has been set. Hello. What's in your mind? What have you said was like unnecessary? Kaz has fallen straight into the guilt trap. He is mesmerized by her looks. He goes outside and they talk it out and he's like, I only have eyes for you. Then they kiss. So, trap set, trap received. Oh, you're Beautiful play by Diana. Got past Kaz, the master of seeing red flags. I can point out the red flags. That's basically the entire first episode. Let me know what you guys think. Hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Always a blast. Good to see you, and until next time, peace out. The most awkward dating show in history. It's gonna be weird. Awkward.